Hi guys, good to have you all back. Happy Sunday. I have an amazing vintage treasure haul for you. Now, uh, over the past couple of weeks, I have found some time to go do some actually thrifting. I went with a friend of mine, uh, visited a couple of thrift shops, also with my lovely husband, of course. And I have um, two Instagram uh, orders that came in. And I also went to visit a sort of a real shop kind of a thrift shop i'm gonna explain later so uh lots of vintage goodies most of which i can use uh, um, in my craft projects i'm going to start with the instagram shops i am hoping that the sound and light is okay because i am not filming at my studio my own studio it's too noisy there for some reason so i've retreated to my bedroom yes yeah, so i also have a desk and you know i'm filming this there okay this came in from uh, the lovely Ellen from Ellen's Little Treasures. Now, these are Dutch Instagram shops. They do ship internationally. Yes, I am going to link both of them below. It's Ellen's Little Treasures and the other one is from Wendy. But we'll get to that later. So here's what I um, ordered and what came in. Uh, Ellen always sends me a lovely note because we've been sort of... Uh, sending each other stuff for years now she's actually oh this is a lovely sort of gift she gave me aren't these just the sweetest and some lovely bags and she knows what i like she she knows what i love this is probably also something uh, no this is something that i ordered okay um this is the biggest treasure Ellen is a collector of uh, wax seal stamp thingies and this is an old one a vintage one it is absolutely beautiful and it has my initials in it. Uh, so instead of her just putting it on her Instagram, in her Instagram shop, she contacted me and she was like, I think you might like this. You think? I do. So I have my own initials now. Margaret and B stands for my uh, maiden last name. Yes. And some then some lovely sort of wax seals. Oh, I need to do something. So I it's a, an absolute treasure. In here I have... Beautiful uh, birth announcement cards. Aren't these lovely? I just like them so much. They are real. I think they're sent to someone. Yes, to um, it's my, the same uh, year as I was born. Martha Elizabeth. Yeah, they're gonna call her Marga. Okay, do not call me Marga ever because that's not my name. Some people call me Marga. They think it's short for Margaret. It is not. Uh, again, oh, this is only one day from my birthday away. So I am one day older than Mark. His name is Mark. Yeah. Well, good year, Mark. And this was from Miranda Johanna Petronella. Again, from January 1970. Oh, these are all people my age. Yes. Uh, not this one. This is Anna Marieke from uh, December 67. Aren't these lovely? They probably came from a collector. They were in a book. So I collect birth announcement cards. I need to do something with them. Uh, bingo cards. Yes, these were uh, bingo cards in a color that I don't have yet. Oh, I don't have my scissors here. Um, they're in a couple of different colors. Yes, green and red. Green and red. And with all these numbers and some old numbers in here. Some old style numbers. Let's see if I can flip one over. Yeah, bingo numbers. Cool, right? The wooden ones. I really like them. Okay, this is this is uh, for personal use. Little a little story about this. Um, when I was a young girl, very young girl, this is probably from the early early seventies because I can remember playing this. My mom bought this for me. So when I was very very young, we used to play this together. It's the memory, and um, it's not the images are not that exciting. But to me, they are because I was four, four, maybe five when this came out. And we played this all the time. I was really, really good at it. It's not like Disney or something. It's actually sort of very non-interesting images. So, yes, um, we enjoyed it a lot. Then it got lost somehow. My brother is six years younger. And when he was a little bit older, about four or five, we found it again somewhere. I don't know where we found it, probably in a thrift shop or whatever. So we bought it again. And then we played with it. The Well, the three of us. Uh, for years and years. Yes. Lost it again, of course. Then I <laughs> found a new one. I found a new, new one. But my brother had his uh, son. 
um, who is now almost turning 12, um, next week even. Um, and then I gifted the, my game to him uh, for, in order for him to play with his son. Now my mom's no longer with us, um, which is of course very sad. And then Ellen had this on her Instagram for some reason. I don't know. Um, so it's, it's an, another one in my possession. So over the past 50 years, I have bought, we have bought four of them. <laughs> Four of them. This one is, is staying. It's just nostalgia. I don't even know if this story interests you. But I thought it was funny. It was funny. This was just a piece of packaging. Probably from something. But I loved it. So I kept it. Um, uh, Ellen knew it was knew it was my birthday. So I got her. Uh, she got me a lovely card. And uh, this book. This was all from packaging. From wrapping. Um, it's about Rotterdam. Where I was born. It's absolutely gorgeous guys. It has these black and white photographs. And drawings, but also has some colored ones that are, look at those. Those are amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I don't know the date from this book. I've been trying to find it. It is old, but it's not old enough for me um, to scan. It has a date here, but I still don't know how to read this. But it's just, it's about Rotterdam and uh, all sorts. And I recognize a lot of it. Now, I must say during World War II, Rotterdam uh, was, you know, we were bombarded um, in the in the war and there was almost nothing left. So we had to rebu rebuild it. Yeah, sadness. Okay, what else did I get? Um, oh, these. Look. Paden des Vredes. It's like something from uh, probably with um, scripture or psalms in them. So cool. With something written in it. This is old, old. I don't know a date, but probably 1930s. Yes, these have scriptures and, and psalms in them. Look at the beautiful images. It is so, so beautiful. I don't know how you could sell this one, Ellen. Yeah, uh, I'll probably not be using this um, in junk journals. Uh, another one, werkboekje. I don't even know. It's old. It's just an old note a notebook, but a very old one. I love it. I could make a small journal from this. And this, um, this was sort of around wrap packaging and such. Just beautiful pieces of ephemera. And then she also sent me this. These are vintage um, small bags, paper bags, for probably groceries or some other items. This one. Don't even know what they kept in here. But these are from, from uh, grocers and such. This is for tea. Yes. Very old, guys. Very old. They put in tea. Or uh, chocolate bonbons. Chocolate is so pretty. Um, this was from a hardware store. From a hardware store in Utrecht. So cool. This was from um, a grocer for... Um, Fruits and vegetables. Yeah. And this was from a bakery. Sort of a vellum bag. They are so, so cool. I also collect these, of course I do. Okay. This was my order from Ellen. Thank you so, so much, Ellen. Um, we are really good friends. Hopefully we can meet up this year again. We uh, did meet up a couple of years ago. But she doesn't live nearby. And we're both very, very busy people. I'm going to link her shop below. Yes, it's all in Dutch. But she does speak English. If you have a question, um, just ask her. Just ask her. Okay, guys. For my next Instagram um, sort of order. Let me get it. This is my order from Wendy. I'm going to link uh, Wendy's Instagram shop uh, below. She ships internationally. Does speak English. But everything is probably in Dutch. I think so. Um, she has the most beautiful vintage items. Really, really lovely. So what did I buy? What did I buy? Oh, I'm going to start with this because this is interesting. These are probably uh, all leather pieces from jeans. You know, when you buy your jeans on the back, on the pocket or something, there's this sort of leather, whatever thing that probably says the brand or something. So I have, she sold them and I thought it was so cool. Look with this sort of, I don't know. Jeans, Marco Polo, and I don't even know half of these. Buffoon, Blinker, and I don't know. But I like them. They're sort of rough and and grungy. And I think uh, I think you can do something with it. So um, 
good for you, Wendy, for, for selling these. I just absolutely love them. So I had a pile of this. Now I'm going to look out when I'm going to go thrifting. I'm going to look for jeans and see if there's something interesting uh, on the back. And if it's a good price, I'm going to buy the whole jeans just for this. That's just me. Uh, a card game that I don't uh, don't own or know yet. It's all with, uh, well, numbers, obviously. Can I open it up? Did you tape it, Wendy? Don't think so. Don't think so. No. Numbers. I don't know what this game is. How you, how you can play it. Oh, look at the backs. The backs are even lovely. So it's all sort of um, primary colors. Blue, red, yellow, green. With numbers. But I don't know how you play it. I don't care because I'm not gonna, even going to play it. Probably going to use them. After a while. After I've done, you know, admiring them. Uh, another um, card. It's called Quartet. You need four of the sort of same theme. Still don't know what it's called in English. It's like sort of Old Maid or Parcheesi or, or something like it. And this has, uh, well, birds. Also, and I, I, I'm into birds. <laughs> oh, yes. And I don't own this one yet. I love the bags. And in its original packaging, which is amazing. Uh, it even has this. Oh, how you play it and such. I do know how to play this one. Yeah, I think every Dutch person knows how to play quartet. It's the easiest game ever. What's in here? I cannot even remember. Well, it's a lovely tin. I probably just bought the tin, but maybe... No, there's stuff inside. Oh, yes. These are all sort of... Um, what are these called? Coupons. Sort of coupons that you got with uh, a product and you had to collect a couple of them and then you probably could get something for free. So, um, coupons. But they're Dutch. Most of them are Dutch. No, this is French. Some French ones. These are old guys from the 60s, maybe 70s. Yeah, pretty, pretty ones. Who knew, right? That we would, you know... We'll love that we would love this in <laughs> most people will be like this is just rubbish no it's not it's treasures in a lovely tin um some trim isn't that fantastic i really like it yes oh i really love it for a fall journal or what have you uh what else do i have some very small um sort of bags paper bags for uh, sewing machine needles. I think these were for sewing machine needles. Aren't these cool? Yes, you can stamp something on it. I have a whole bunch. Yeah. I have no clue how she found them. She has the most wonderful treasures. Most of which is from uh, France. Yes. Oh, look at those. Beautiful um, sort of labels. For medicine the petits animaux medicine for for small animals <laughs> i don't know my french is rubbish. animal medicine the petit i don't know i have no clue what these were for but i know i love them yes i know i love them they i they sort of sound like something apothecary and not wine don't think there's wine in here because it says glycerophosphate something no no wine, no wine. This is actually the manual for a Singer machine. Number 28 from 1923. Oh my gosh, Wendy, why did you sell this? I would sort of treasure it. Um, somehow she found it for 50 cents. She did not sell it for 50 cents, I can say. But that's quite all right. I was happy to pay something for it. Oh, look at those. It's from 1923. I can scan it. Yes. I can scan it and make um, a digital out of it and use it for uh, ephemera. Or maybe I could read it and learn how to sew. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Oh, yeah, that's so cool. I really like it. Um, Proxitol. Something French. Don't know what it is, but it's old. And I love it. I just like it. Uh, what else did I have? This is... Um, uh, oh, that's a postcard from Wendy saying thank you. Thank you, Wendy. And um, from a photographer, you get your, you put your pictures in here. These are probably all just, it's just um, a little gift she, she gave me. Yes, with some 
cards. Oh, I love those. I've never seen these. These came with margarine with butter. Yeah. And this is a devotional card. And this is a chimpanzee who has an itch on his bum. <laughs> Where was it from? Oh, it's from T. Yeah. Oh my gosh. These are old. These are old, old. A fantastic big sort of vellum sticker. I think it's a vellum washi sticker. Another advertisement piece. Might be a sticker. Beautiful vintage postcard. Isn't that fantastic? From 1956. Yeah, really cute. A uh, game card and a collectible card from something with trains. And this lovely map. Yeah. Um, what was this? I, I can't even remember. Here's here's uh, how this goes, guys. I um, order now and then. And then they collect the order for me. So I am not being said. They don't send me this every week. It's a couple of weeks, even months, that I collect uh, an order. And then they send it to me. Fantastic cigarette cards. These are real cigarette cards. Yeah. Will's cigarettes. These are not Dodge. Where did you get them, love? Um, issued by the Imperial Tobacco Company of Great Britain and Ireland. Well, they are from Great Britain and Ireland. These are just normal playing cards. Uh, they're, they're glossy. They're sort of uh, modern. But I love the images and the backs as well. Isn't that absolutely sweet? They are very modern because by Claire and Ave and that is a company that's, well, a newer company. But I don't care. I just wanted, wanted them. Um, bundle card, which is like um, a route for hiking, I guess. A map. But yes. Um, you could go hiking here and here. I don't know. It's It looks old. Well, older. Yes, they don't make them like these anymore. And you paid 10 cents for it. Oh, 1920. Oh my gosh, 1924. I have two of them. They're probably the same. Yeah, they're, they're the same. 1924. That's good condition for 1924. Um, then I have some of these. These are in French. I don't speak French. You can, you know, fill this in for what have you. Oh, and there you can make copies as well. That's just the coolest. Yeah, I just like them. I just like them. And she sold them. Same with these checks or bank statements that you could fill in. But I, my, my French is rubbish. And same with these. She had, lot, she had lots of them. So I just wanted I wanted a couple of them. I don't think these are antique. But they're uh, quite a bit older. But I love them. Love them. Bulletin. De... She has all sorts of French. Her uh, Instagram account is also French. I cannot even pronounce it. I'm just going to say Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> because I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link it below guys. Fantastic, right? Yes, these are all real. Tapioca. This is real stuff, guys. 1922? Or was that the address? I don't know. But it looks like it came from 1922. Oh, it's even on the back. These are just, you know, checks from a store that sells tapioca. Isn't that pudding? I don't know. I don't know. It's not something that I eat. And then very old um, French receipts from this is from 1929, different ones 1927, 38, just some handwritten whatever. Oh, love this, yeah. So she sold some, and I wanted some 1948, just a handwritten letter 38. Beautiful, beautiful real ephemera. And then I have two, two or three magazines. Well, two at least. Radio and television. This is also French from 1956. It's all about uh, radios and television. Is that interesting? Yes, it is. Look at this. Imagine this as a background in a collage. That, to me, is very, very interesting. Has some advert... Oh, look at the advertisement pieces with the old sort of... Radio equipment on the beautiful aged paper. Yeah, 
It's not lovey-dovey with roses and uh, flowers and fairies. No. It's way... Oh, there's some pink in here. It's way more interesting. And apparently pink. Look at the old radio. I just really, really like those. Needless to say, yes, I collect them. I collect old magazines. And now this is another old magazine. Uh, Le Journal de Brodreuse. It's like embroidery. Something from 1954. I think uh, made uh, Journals uh, has this uh, as, a, as a digital. Didn't I? Mm, well, reminds me of it. Yeah, it's big, it's huge. It's like a newspaper. It doesn't even fit uh, in the screen. And Oh, you can fold it out. It's a foldable. You can fold it out. It has, oh, a fantastic alphabet on here. Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's so, so pretty, right? Yeah. So, so yes. Beautiful vintage treasures. Absolutely love it. Did I show everything? I did. I did. Um, Wendy, thank you so much, sweetheart. Um, I love your shop. I'm going to send everyone your way. Because you have some amazing stuff. So, go visit Wendy. That's it for my Instagram um, orders. Let me show you what I found in a sort of normal shop. It wasn't really normal, but I'm going to explain. I found um, two beautiful treasures. So last month, I was gifted a vintage typewriter. I know, right? Fantastic. I'm going to show it uh, when everything is sort of settled. Um, so I needed a, a typewriter ribbon. Let's call it a ribbon. You know, the ribbon that you put in the vintage typewriters. So I know of a shop through Instagram. I've seen um, their Instagram account. It actually has two names. It's going to be Dutch, guys. It's a V van Soethout or the Type Machine Fabriek. It's like the typewriter factory. It is uh, a sort of a vintage shop. It's a very interesting shop to look at. It's more... Um, uh, like antique vintage it's not a thrift shop guys because they do not have thrift shops uh, thrift shop prices they're a little bit uh, more expensive uh, but i needed this for my typewriter i don't know what the english name is called uh, a ribbon for a typewriter with ink on it yeah typewriter ink so i got that and then i did some looking around um most of the books she had i have but i didn't have this one and i think it's a very very lovely one um I did pay up for this. I wouldn't pay this much for a small book in um, in a thrift shop. It was three euros and fifty cents. It was uh, quite all right, but the images are amazing. It's on matte paper, almost newspaper paper. Not not newspaper paper, but it's very old and yellowed, and it's full of these mushrooms. It's just so cool. I've never seen this one, and um, I absolutely love it. Spores and ferns and just the coolest small little booklet. Yeah, in very good condition as well. It was reasonably pr priced. And then I found this. Um, the President of the United States, Educational, Historical, Biogra uh, Biographical Information and Portraits of All the Presidents. Quiz cards make learning fun. So it is actually a game uh, from 1989. Uh, so it is vintage. I did pay up for it. It's well, That's a lot of money. Uh, but I just thought it was interesting and I thought you might find it interesting. Yes, because I'm Dutch in the Netherlands. This obviously came from the States and it has the cards with the presidents on them. Um, now, I do not know a lot about American history, guys, so do not judge. Oh, it's in, in, the, in order. So this is probably, is it George Washington? Was that the first one? Yes. Well, you know, one point for me. And this is Ronald Reagan. I know this one. <laughs> used to be an actor, you know. Um, Jimmy Carter, I know. Some them, uh, I have no clue. Gerald Ford. Uh, Nixon. Uh, Kennedy. Who was between Ken Truman? Is it Truman? No, Johnson. I didn't look at them. Who was he? He was Truman. Is this uh, Eisenhower then? Yes, Eisenhower. Oh my gosh, I'm good. I'm quite good. Uh, no, no. Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Yes. And I, I, guys, I, I'm not even going to try. Uh, I think I did pretty well. <laughs> I did pretty well so far. So far. So it's like the, the presidents of the United States and uh, what they did and, so, and such. Isn't that cool? 
yes i thought it was way too cool to leave it there especially because i knew you guys would get a kick out of this where's number 36 there's no number 36 well that was a president that everyone wants to forget about i don't i don't know so yes i bought this game isn't that cool okay uh what i'm gonna do because i had a lovely chat with the owner probably the owner of the shop she was amazing uh we like the the same things we like the same things and um i told her i was on instagram and did youtube and then we checked and we were both following each other on on instagram so i'm gonna give her a shout i'm going to link um uh, I'm going to link her below uh, as well as and I, I always do my Instagram post when I do a YouTube video. Uh, go check it out. It's a lovely, lovely vintage shop if you're Dutchy. Okay, now for some true thrift items that I found thrifting over the past couple of weeks. I have lots of books. I'm going to start with haberdashery. That means um, woolies, lace, ribbons and lots of fabric. I have lots of fabrics. Now, normally I go to the sort of office supplies section. They didn't have anything. I only found this. This is for um, uh, index cards, like a small box. Um, it was 50 cents. I pick it up. You can put in your index cards or whatever you want. Now, um, that was the only item from the office supplies that I found in thrift, thrift shops, probably. I have my uh, my laces and, and ribbons um, in here. Um, I'm just going to show them to you. These were all very inexpensive, like 50, 60, 70 cents. Beautiful old trim. This is old, guys. It has been, you know, it's dirty or maybe whatever, discolorated. And yeah, but that's how we like it. Somebody spilled their coffee on it. Does it smell? A lot. It does. It does. But it's cute, right? This is, hand this is not like from a factory. I don't know if it is handmade, but it's, it's old. Um, not all of it is old. This is also old. It's a large piece as well. Five and a half meters, which is a lot. And again, it's like maybe somebody coffee dyed it. I don't know. No, it doesn't smell like coffee. No. So it's just old, very old lace. Very dainty, lovely. Not from a factory. This is the real stuff. This is the real stuff. So I really liked it. Um... Just some normal white lace. This is nothing very fancy or special, but it has lovely flowers on them. And I probably paid about 30 cents for it or something like it. So yes, then it comes home with me. Just really cute. Um, these are more modern. I don't even know what this is for, uh, but I like it. Put on a tap, on a, on a tag as a topper or make this into a tap. It's just neutral colored, liked it. And then this one, well, it is a gingham. In bright green, apple green. A lot of it even. So I love my gingham. You know this. Uh, speaking of gingham, sort of gingham. Yes, this is modern. It is a uh, nylon end. But I don't have this. And I thought, come with me. Then this. Um, I'll probably call this Arkyle. The, um, the print on it. I used to have uh, socks like these. <laughs> Oh, back in the 80s. I don't know if it was a thing uh, from the 80s or a thing in our school. But in our school, you needed to have socks. You needed to buy them at Bicorp, which was the, the most expensive department store. And I believe they were called Burlington's. They were actually men's socks. Yes, and they were very expensive. And it had sort of this print on them. But it reminded me of um, Halloween. Yeah. So I thought, oh, man, I might do some Halloween this year. I might, probably not. But, you know, it was just cute. Okay, those were my ribbons and my laces. I have some woolies. Now I'm trying to cut back on the woolies, guys, because I already have so many of them. I, I bought something very sort of, uh, you know, common, something very, you know, not exciting. Just um, a grey woolly, because I've been looking for it and I don't have any normal grey woolies. And I just needed it. So a grey woolly. The other ones are a little bit more, uh, well, specialty yarns and something more special. I'm going to cut it like this. Very lovely sort of pale aqua green blue type of yumminess. Just really, really pretty. And also, again, guys, most 40 cents, 50 cents, 40 cents. They are very, very inexpensive uh, at my favorite thrift shop. And I love this. Look, yeah. It's very irregular and has some red in it. And 
for closures, for toppers, for no, what have you, or for just to look at, just to look at. Eyelash trim. Now, for somebody who has a lot of eyelash trim, I never, hardly ever use it. Uh, but I do collect it. It's not old, old. Um, but I just like it. It's so fluffy. <laughs> it's fluffy and I don't have this color yet. And I thought it was really, really cool. Paid 50 cents for it. Yes. And then the last one. Um, 40 cents. It is black. With some... I don't know, shiny purple stuff and some blue and green. And it reminded me of... Um, I have some Stamperia. It's called Fantastic Voyage or Voyage Fantastic or Beyond the Sea or something. It reminds me of, um, well, Beyond the Sea, like at the bottom of the ocean. So I'm going to, hopefully, if I'm going to do something with that uh, paper pack, I remember I have this one. I just thought it was interesting. It was interesting. I found something else in a thrift shop uh, with one of my good friends, um, and this was actually, I don't even think this was for sale. This was on the wall. It is a quick reference stitch guide. Yes, with stitches on them. Probably belonged um, in a shop that sold sewing machines or, or, or something. Sewing machine that could do all sorts of stuff. And uh, these were the numbers of, this, of the stitches. I think so. It wasn't for sale. There wasn't a price on it. And I just thought I'm going to be naive about it and I just uh, took it to me to the cash register and I don't think what I don't even know what they charge me for it nearly nothing but I just thought it was so interesting I just really liked it I'm sorry for the glare that's my lights guys yeah um you could I could sort of well I could even make this into a big journal it has holes in here and then put the rings and have this as a cover for sewing journal who knows who knows okay Lots of fabrics. Love them all. I'm going to show you. I found um, napkins. Embroidered ones. They had four of them. I thought let's just take two. Because maybe someone else would like some as well. Two of them. These are embroidered. Just you know hand stitched. I love them. Um, I'll probably use this as a, a large pocket. For well apparently my sewing journal. See, you can make this into a large uh, a corner pocket. That's what I'll probably use it for. So really, really lovely. Then for all the... Look look at how many I have. And I already folded them and such. Some were really, really vintage. Like this one. It's with the orange flowers. This is so 70s. Maybe even 60s. Uh, I don't know even know where it came from. But I love it. The orange... <laughs> Isn't that cool? It has some staining here because it has been folded for like since forever. But that's quite all right. We love it. We love it grungy. So yes, orange flowers. Then lovely small blue flowers as well. Isn't that cool? Yes, it's a big piece. Big piece. So I use these to make uh, journal covers. I Well, I want to make journal covers with them. I have so many beautiful fabrics. Again, very vintage very 70s. Look at this. This probably was like a pillowcase or or something. Isn't that cool? Oh, I just, I just, I just, oh, really like it. 70 stuff. Now, this is most likely for um, quilters or something. Look at all the doggies. Doggies and kittens. Just love it. Now, I pay about uh, 30 or 50 cents for these smaller pieces. I think the most expensive piece I have in here was one euro and fifty cents. This is fantastic for a garden journal. Oh, this was the most expensive one, one euro and thirty cents. But it has some sort of gold in it. Yes, it's a little bit reflective, and you know, it has flowers and a bucket and a shovel and uh, a watering can and daffodils. So cute, right? For, you know, cover for a gardening journal. And I I have enough to make two or three out of them. It's just cool. Really like it. Uh, more small little flowers. Small little flowers are very nice to have. Because you um, can also take off strips of it. And then make um, toppers or, or bows with them. Or, or something. A big piece. A large piece even. I think this was bedding at some point. I don't know. And then this piece with the lovely doveys. 
look at the small birdies on on branches um it's quite a long piece and somebody already took something out a piece out but there's enough left i really liked it it was really really cute really cute now i love my my plaids my checkers my gingham and i found this 30 cents look like tea towel it isn't um but it's just lovely for for all sorts of projects guys i really like this very neutral now this this screams easter to me yes again this was something that i oh i paid up for this one i paid up for this i can't even remember oh one one euro and 30 cents oh yes well you paid up for it <laughs> baskets with uh spring flowers in them like crocuses and uh, daffodils and such and a uh, beautiful yellow sort of bows with whatever it's easter right yeah very very easter i think so i think so another vintage one probably from a pillowcase this looks like it came from a pillowcase or a bedding or something like it again it's very very easter yes i paid 30 cents for it i know ridiculous more um plaids or gingham or checkers or or you know this just love it i just love it small pieces and also something in um sort of black grayish yeah i cannot have enough of this stuff i really really like it and then uh, this one that was probably used for quilters or something has a brand name on it from 2010 pine and rose by thimbleberries thimbleberries well if you're a quilter you probably know this brand uh has a ha had a lovely little piece 30 cents it will make for a lovely journal cover. This is upholstery um, fabric. Probably for uh, couches or... Oh, well, it could also be curtains. It is a smaller and narrow piece, but a longer piece. And it is with beautiful florals. I probably have something very similar or maybe even the same. It's a very classic pattern, but I just absolutely love it. And uh, this is a pillowcase. Vintage one. For sure. This is an oldie, guys. An oldie. 70s, early 80s. It is a pillowcase. I'm going to take them apart and then use them as a... See? Pillowcase. Yeah. Cool, right? They only had one. Yes, it's in very good condition for something this old. Oh, my gosh. I would have loved to find this, the whole set. Because, you know, reminds me of olden days. So... Lots of um, beautiful fabrics uh, in my ever, ever growing collection. Yeah. Okay. I have some uh, odds and ends. Um, odds and ends. Miscellaneous. And then um, books. I don't have that many books. Well, too many. But let me show you the, the miscellaneous. So I went thrifting with a very good friend of mine. We love the same things. Uh, so what do you do when you find something and you both want it? Well, we split things up. Um, we did not fight. Everything was okay. And, and most of it, she was like, oh yeah, that's so you. Or I was like, you need to have this because I already have a gazillion of those. Uh, this was one of the items she told me. Oh yes, it's pink. It's lovely. It needs to come home with you. It is. It's, it's a box. It's not an old one, guys. It's not an old one. Probably has... See, it even has a, a barcode on it. Uh, it's actually from Senos. <laughs> but what did I pay for it? 95 cents. It's just a lovely box. You can put all sorts in it. I really like that uh, it keeps uh, it open like so. And it's pink. Yeah. And it's uh, uh, to keep my birth announcement cards in or, or something like it. It was just a lovely, lovely box. Now, um, let me show you what we what we split up we found some games we've actually found a bridge game let me fold this in because this is a whole construction um went like this this and then this and like this yes well i had two of them a red one and a blue one so the blue one went home with me and then you open it up like so and it clicks like so it has cards it's for bridge i do not play bridge i have no clue how to play it i just really like the small cards with all the numbers in them and um my friend who he who didn't know about this was like what she thought it was amazing it is it's just numbers and small cards yeah and it also looks lovely on your desk so uh we both have one 
We both have one now. And, and, a, and a card with more numbers. Maybe I should learn to play bridge. But I just think it's cute on your desk. And then we found some vintage games um, with some um, game cards like these. That I, I used a sort of similar ones in my flip over um, January junk journal. Yeah, it's just lovely. Um, this came from something. Um, I don't even know, guys. Just small cards. Probably from a garage for um your checkup for your for your car yeah because it says something with oil and check this and check, i don't know something for oil for your car i don't even know then a couple of games oh this came uh, with this game the small cards so we split them up we split them up so that we can use them there was a big game uh with traffic rules and such so i have some uh, stop signs lots of these <laughs> And then, uh, well, with a controller, traffic controller, and then some questions. And uh, it's just lovely vintage cards that we split up. And uh, another one, I cannot even remember. It's been a while, guys, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, this came probably came from the same um, game because this is a car insurance, life insurance, something with insurances. Did it even come from? I don't know. But game card pieces things vintage ones just lovely um then i found this i i did think about are you going to take this because what are you going to do with it i know these are um records yes small records we call them singles yeah beautiful ones from a long time ago does it have a date i really like the image I just really like this. I know the record is still in here. And people are going to think, what are you going to do with the I don't... Ah, I do. My mom has a record player, so I can actually play them. But I'm not interested in the record. I know you can do something with them. I'm going to have to look into it. Maybe I'll do something with them. But I just mainly bought them for the images. And they were very inexpensive. This actually came from Margriet, which is a very famous Dutch ladies magazine. Margriet Discotheek, I don't know, but it has Johan Strauss. That doesn't uh, sound like a uh, discotheque. <laughs> but again, guys, it's the image that I just really adored. Same with this one. one. Isn't that beautiful? I think this is from Russia because this looks Russian to me. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's almost falling apart. It's, uh, it's from Russia. So I have no clue uh, what it is about or... Yeah... Can I tell you? I have never been to Russia, but it looks like St. Petersburg because I've seen some pictures of St. Petersburg or or Paris. But I'm going for St. Petersburg because because of Russia. This one looks like uh, like a wedding couple, yeah, like a wedding dress and a veil and so beautiful. I just mainly bought these for uh for the covers and not for the records in them. There, there are real records in them. I might play them. And then this one. Um, Christmas. Uh, with a song on it. A Christmas song. But it says Knorr in Switzerland. We say Knorr. But it's actually Knorr. That's a brand. Makes spices and herbs and such. Um, but it is actually a Dutch song. Christmas song. I just loved it. <laughs> just, this was actually the first one I saw. And I was like, oh my gosh. It's, well, it's horrible. <laughs> it's not that attractive. But, you know, it. I, you can tell it's very, very old. So I've started to collect these. I do not know why. Because I have enough. So these are very special. Now, um, I'm going to show you uh, books. And then one of the biggest treasures at the end. But let me show you the books. So I picked up two books that are not vintage, or probably not vintage, uh, modern. And what is it? Well, uh, my husband has this app so he can see what it is. It's actually Chinese. These are Chinese books, but they're not old. They're actually sort of new. Uh, no clue what they're about. But I love, 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 love the pages and the text in here. And it has also, yes, look, numbers and then apparently some Chinese writing. Hello and thank you. These would make for fantastic pieces 
uh, and it's very thin because it's probably it's probably a dictionary it's a dictionary for sure because it's alphabetic and um and what have you uh and it's chinese but i do not know for sure um for collaging for backgrounds it's just amazing so i'm going to take it apart for sure i'm gonna use all of it well that will take me a while so i found this one euro and 25 cents thank you thank you and another one again this was chinese this is all for a sunny mood probably a self-help uh book <laughs> um i have no clue what it says but should be happy but i love the paper and i love i just love the font on here now if i if i was mistaken it's not chinese i am sorry but the app said um chinese but you know could be something else something else but I love the paper and I love sort of the writing. So I mainly bought these to rip up. To rip up. I found um, a couple of Marjolein Bastants, which is a very sort of famous. I have three of those. Didn't I have three of those? Or did I just take two of them? I cannot even remember. Or is it here? Oh no, it's here. I'm sorry. In the, in the next pile of books. Um, Marjolein Bastant, very famous Dutch illustrator. Um, I probably already have all of these. Aren't these lovely? These are just lovely images. Lovely images. She made lots of books. I do like the fact that this is all in hand uh, writing. Reminds me a little bit of Edith Holden. Hmm. Do I have this? I think I have this one. Um, if not, it goes into my collection. If I do, I'm just going to use the pages. Now, um, I'm trying not to pick up that many books, especially if I already have one or two copies. But honestly, guys, it was 75 cents for a Marjolein Bastin, which is ridiculous. I just had to... Well, actually, my husband Tim found them. So it's your fault, Tim. <laughs> He's the one that keeps telling me you don't need any more books. Well, then stop finding me the books. Uh, another one from Marjolein Bastin. For sure have this one. I even have two. Um, it's with the birds. And I just love these images. Love, love, love them. Yeah, fantastic, right? Uh, 50 cents. Yeah, okay. <laughs> then you come home with me. Another one. I don't know if I have this one because uh, I do not recognize this one. Again, bird images. She is such a lovely illustrator. I really, really like her style. Yeah, a duchy. And this was 60 cents. Well, there you go. Uh, I have this one. I thought I had this one, but I cannot find it anywhere. Um... Has beautiful drawings in it. Lots of uh, writing as well. But these pages. Look at these pages. It's just interesting. Has some handwriting uh, underneath. And then just, uh, you know, um, images of apparently herbs and fruits. And um, there are lots of uh, colored ones in here as well. Look at that. Yes, as a journal page. Interesting, right? If you're going to do a garden journal or something like it. So, yeah, I thought it was really, really nice. I think I have it, but mm, I need to go look for it then. Uh, what did I pay? 50, uh, 75 cents. Thank you. I found a Mousseau. I'm going to say Mousseau. It's probably spelled differently, but I've, I've been calling it Mousseau for, since forever. And, and this is actually the most common one. If you find someone uh, a Mousseau in a thrift shop, it's probably this one. It is absolutely beautiful. I have the whole... Well, I do not have the whole series. Because he made a lot. Um, but it has these images in them. On matte paper. Just gorgeous. I make faux poster stamp with this. Faux tickets. Oh, so many uses for these. I just absolutely love them. Beautiful. Uh, yes, I have a couple of copies. But uh, sometimes I go through them like... Mm, there's no tomorrow. And uh, for 50 cents. Come on. 50 cents. Thank you, thank you. Um, I have two of the same. Yes, was I greedy to take both of them? Probably. But one is 30 cents and one is 50 cents. Do I already have a copy? Yes. Do I already have two? Yes, so now I have four. But that's okay, because I love this. Again, beautiful small little images. Oh, you can use your, a die cut on this or just fussy cut them. Or just put it in a journal. I, and for, for that money, guys, it's, it's like 30 cents. Hello. I have no clue why this was 30 cents and this 50 cents. I don't know. But still, 
very very cheap and the same ones yes it's a series i i think i have all of them from this series hopefully i do then uh two vintage books this is a very old one i thought this was a collectible book um that you put a sort of cards in that you get with cigarettes or cookies or what have you it's from 1954 but actually it isn't but it looked like it, it has beautiful images of old ships in here yes and it's sort of ring bound and i don't have this one but i thought it was a collectible book it's not i do have a lot of small uh collectible cards with ships i actually have a gazillion of them i need to use them at one point yeah it was one euro and fifty cents. Yes, I was trying to get it off without damaging the actual book. Ooh, I don't think that is going to work. So sad. They put it on the cover. Why? Why, people? Why you do this? Uh, minimal damage. Minimal damage. Yes. Well, it's almost like there's more birds here. Yeah. Lovely, right? Yeah, I really like it. And then this one I found um, when I was out with my friends. It's actually not a Dutch book. It's an English book. I don't know if it's from the States or from um, the UK. It's all about crochet. Um, I think it's from the... Oh, Random House New York, which is in the States. Yes. Okay, all about crochet, which is lovely. Um, but also it has... Oh, look at those. Some beautiful, like, 70s images look. Just uh, scream 70s, 60s, 70s, right? With all the colors. I just thought it was so interesting. I don't know if I can ever cut it up. Uh, I, just, I just loved it. And I needed to have it because this actually makes me feel good. What are you wearing, mister? What are you wearing? Honestly. Yes. Oh, well, it was a thing then. Gosh. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. So, yes. Took it with me. Um, it has the dust cover on it. And it's, you know, 70s orange. So, it's, it's definitely 70s. I could not find um, a date. Does it have a date? 1972. There you go. I know my 70s. I have more books. I have more books. I hope you like birds. Because they're all about birds. I have a bunch of them. This is a Rebo. I collect these uh, these books. Uh, it's a series all about nature and whatever. Um, some of the series have like the the green sort of uh, banner all around it. This is one with the with the non green banner. And these are some of the titles. There are way more now. This is an older one. Yes, I already have one. But it was a sixty cents. Hello Rebo. Um, and this is an older one. It has the matte paper in it. And some of the newer ones have. Uh, you know, glossy paper. Just beautiful images that you can fussy cut and uh, put on a tag or journal card or or make envelopes with or what have you. Just pretty, just pretty ones. So does, it does have a dust cover and it's, uh, what was it, 60 cents? Ridiculous, I know. I didn't have this one. It looks sort of um, more modern to me. It has the original price on it in Gilder, so it's rather old paid 60 cents ridiculous for it uh was there a date oh 1974 so it's an older one and then i did this what yeah it's beautiful after all the pages it's full it's completely full just birds 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 on both sides which is a little bit sad i would have rather oh look at that so majestic yes a stone eagle oh and owls i love um um Sort of uh, owls and such and eagles and whatever. Are they called predator birds? I don't know. Uh, in the back is the um, sort of what they are. Who they are and such. So not interested in this. I am interested in this. Unfortunately, I only have one. <laughs> I'm looking for another one. It's like um, know your birds or something. It's about birds. It's amazing. Love it. Love it. Okay, um, I'm going to show you this one. It's huge. The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Birds. All sorts of birds all over the world. I already have a copy of this. So this is my second copy. I looked up the original copy. I think I paid for the for the one that I already have. Which I already also thrifted. About 4 or 5 euros. Which is worth it because it's 
a big one it is beautiful has the dust cover it looks amazing i think it was uh, originally a very expensive um a book it has this hello and thank you it's semi-gloss it's not that glossy um yeah what i like about these books is that you um if you cut something out you're not cutting through another bird yeah because there's just writing on on the other side so every other page is lovely birds black and white lovely bird black and white lovely birds really yes oh look at those so completely full completely full it is fantastic this is one of the most the best books for about look at this the cardinal Be the oh the images are so fantastic guys so I have a second copy now. I saw it standing there and I was like, yes, but I know they are expensive and I already have one and it's a big book and I don't have any room. So I've, I was talking myself out of it. Yes. And then um, after a couple of mid minutes, I came back and I caved in. I was like, okay, let's see how much it is. And it was 75 cents. What? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, then you come live with me or... You're going to be completely cut up. Oh, yeah, I love this. I have some of these pages in yellow. Yellow Legenda. I don't, I know have this, like the index or. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like this as well. So, yes, I, I bought it and um, extremely happy with it. Extremely happy with it. What else am I happy with? With this. And I am sad I only bought these. This was actually a series of books, a sort of encyclopedia. They had. Two sets, complete sets, in the thrift shop. Yes, they were one euro and twenty-five cents each. Now I already own so so many bird books that I really don't need anymore. Honestly, guys, I don't need anymore. So I actually passed them by, but there wasn't a lot in that particular thrift shop. So I was like, okay, let's see what the birds, what the bird books are doing. So I open it up. Yes, and then this happens. The images are so beautiful the the writing is on matte paper this is semi-gloss and they are amazing beautiful illustrations absolutely beautiful so i couldn't just leave them there so i took the whole series with me i am so sad that i didn't take everything with me because then i could cut them up yeah, then I had two of each, but that would have been sort of expensive because, you know, it was six euros, the whole pile. And well, not that expensive. Don't be stingy. Don't be Dutch. <laughs> They're beautiful. So I came home, had a closer look at them. And then I Googled them and they are actually really expensive <laughs> if you buy them. Some of them uh, can be up to 25 euros each if they have the dust cover and are in, in good condition. Uh, oh, I'm so sad I didn't buy all of them. Not that I want to sell them. No, because they're precious. Um, oh, it's just... Oh, it's called Birds of Prey. Yes, not Predators. Birds of Prey. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, look at the owls. They are just amazing. Unfortunately, I cannot scan this because it's copyright protected. And, you know... Oh, but I love them. So, lots of books about birds. I found another small booklet. If you've seen one of my previous thrift hauls, you probably uh, sort of recognize this. This is from the series. If you want to learn how to paint or draw or painting lessons in oil. I found another one. I didn't pay this for it. I probably paid 50 cents for it. Uh, yes, these, these are uh, look at those. Lovely, right? If you want to learn how to uh, do, oil, do oil painting and such. It is a series. Let me look at the back. Yes, it's a series. And I have a lot already of these. I actually want all of the books. Look how many books. How to draw art books. This is 178. I don't have 178. But I have like 10 or 12 or something of them. Yeah, so really lovely. Okay, guys, we're almost there. I'm going to show you one more item uh, that I found that I was really excited about. So this I found uh, when I was thrifting with a friend of mine. We actually didn't find a lot in that particular thrift shop. And while we were heading out, I saw this on a, a bookshelf. It was not, was with records. 
and I don't, well, apparently I do buy, buy records now. It was between at all the records, but it looked old. It looked like older. So I took it out and then on the front it says Columbia with a music note. So I was like, isn't that a record company like Columbia, isn't it? Um, and also it looked rather old. So I opened it up and it's actually this. It's very old, guys. You can put your records in here, right? Your, like your big records. Uh, so it holds your records. Isn't that fantastic? It's amazing. Yes, it, it's in very good condition. They're all sort of um, not damaged. They look old and dusty and smelly and musty and such. Um, but I just love it. I could make a journal out of this or I could use it to put maybe some beautiful um, uh, masterboards that I make from... Uh, less love scrapbook paper that will probably fit in here and then you can have all your masks there. I'm just thinking out loud, but I just thought it was a real treasure from Columbia Columbia records now. How old will this be? Well, you know 50s 40s I think so. I think so. I think it was a real find So guys, that's it for today. I hope you like my treasures. I love my treasures Yes, now I need to find a room for them. I get asked questions all the time. Where do you keep all of it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any more room. But, you know, I keep finding them and I absolutely love them. Guys, that's it for today. I'll be back again tomorrow with another crafty video. Hoping you can join me then. A big thank you to Wendy and Ellen. I'm going to link um, both of the Instagram shops below. Go check them out. And also I'm going to... Uh, mention the typewriter factory, Deep Machine Fabrik. If you have an old typewriter and you need sort the you know ribbon for a typewriter, go visit them. Uh, and it's just a lovely shop. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye, guys.